Hi everyone. Welcome back to Harvest Men. Used to be at Gina's place. I want to thank you for returning and I just want to thank you for all of your likes and for any comments that are, are left. And I also want to thank those who don't leave comments but are able to share the uh, messages that the Most High has given me. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on into it, but first we're going to have a word of prayer. We're going to thank him for all his messages and leading and guiding us. Some things are working out for the good and coming to pass, and some things we still have to wait on. We still have to stand in faith and believe that he is speaking his word, compare it to his word, and just say, hallelujah, we thank you, Father. Father, we come to you as humble as we know how to just say thank you for all that you do and who you are in our walk being a lamp unto our path and being whispers within our spirit, leading and guiding us down the way that you will have us to go. We thank you for everything. And we're asking you to bless the babies, Father. Make a way for the, for the parents to be able to do what they need to do about the formula. We thank you. And we're asking you to bless um, all that has been going on in this world. And um, we know these things have to happen in order for you to come. We thank you. We're asking you also to give us an uplifting mind and spirit and heart to walk this path, knowing that you are our protector. We thank you and we love you, Father, in your precious holy name. Okay, family. Um, this message was given to me on May 20th, 2022. It's kind of lengthy, but I want to start out with Matthew 24 prior to giving them Given the message. So Matthew, Matthew 24 and 35, it says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass away. He said, But that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. You know what happens in marriage. Babies are still coming. Also, it says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And no, let's back up, verse 39, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man. They shall two be in the field, and the one shall be taken, and the other left. And then I want to jump to verse 42. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord, Yahshua, doeth come. Verse 43, But know this, that if the good men of the house had known it would watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Okay, family. That's kind of self-explanatory. It's just saying that we just don't know what day and what hour he's coming, but just know that his words is not going to go out void. It's not going to be passed away. Heaven and earth will pass away before his word pass away. I'm asking all to listen and hear his word. Um, if they don't believe or understand, please take it to him in prayer. Listening is a great tool to have, more so than speaking. And it's saying that um, if you was watching, if you were listening and watching, then you would know if a thief is coming. If someone is coming to disrupt your house, to disrupt your game, to disrupt your pathway. Listen, keep your eyes open, and be watchful. Okay, so March 20th, 22. This is kind of lengthy, um, so just bear with me. But it had been a minute before um, I got settled down, before the Most High was able to speak to me. Yeah, he was waiting on me. That's what he told me. He said he had been waiting on me. So he said, days are narrowing down to take you all home. Look forward to the move. My daughter, I know you are waiting on me. He said, I, the father. He said, nowadays are more dangerous than before. So look to me for all protection. He said, all my angels 
rest there. So call on Gabriel and others. They will come to rescue you from situations, my children. Family, please hear that. You see what's going on right here in this country, in baby town. It's a lot going on. He said, call on him. You can call on Gabriel or his angels and they will be there for you. He said, guards everywhere now, listening, tell my people to be prepared for the certain, certain move. He said, where's to take? I know you are almost there, but many are not because of unbelief. So I'm prepared and I've been prepared for a long time because he's been telling me for a long time, you know, to get your wares, get your house in order, get your tabernacle in order, pack your bags. When it's time to go, you're ready to go. Family, you must listen. If not, if you go and you don't be prepared, then your bags are going to be un unpacked. If something happens and your spirit is not right, you, I'm just saying, get your spirit man right. That's number one. Okay. Um. Let me see, where did I leave off? He said, we move to safety first, then I reconstruct the earth. Yes, he said he going to reconstruct the earth. He said, soon, many are sleep. Open your eyes and see. Open your ears to hear. Move the naysayers away or you move away from them. He said, he called my name and then he said, you are one of my angels. And let me skip over that. And he says, a big tactic, but I can and I will be able to. He's, what he's saying is that he's just going to do what he's going to do. He said he's got his angels to attend to our needs for the people. He said, like before, they will, people will complain. So, and I understand a lot of people are going through a lot of situations. And by me having a long, long time medical um, background, as well as in real estate, I have actually worked with people for years and years. And I know people have different situations and it affects them differently. So we have got to know that we got to love our brothers and sisters and just help them, you know, when they start complaining, be understanding. Now, don't be ignorant to the fact that we all go through things and may and need to, um, you know, like a, what I want to say, you know, kind of work it out like you may work it out. But everybody has everybody's different so you just have to know how to just work through situations and just be calm you know when people start complaining he says so he's telling us to be attentive because many people are hurt from the past lives he said um rise up and finish the task of something that he had asked me to do so that is complete i got that done and he spoke to me and told me where it was and i mean you know the day when i went out he said it's there go get it and praise him. It was there. Time I walked in there. Um, then he said. Prayers are needed for the world. So family is time. Just to start back fasting and praying. Sometimes we may get a little slack. I know I get a little slack. I may pray. But there may be a week or two that I may leave something off. So it's time to get back to doing some fasting. 